was reported that suspected Fulani Esme invaded Igogon in a barakba and attacked residents of the community on Saturday night. This sad incident recorded a lot of casualties with the death of 11 people confirmed by the Oyo State Police Command. Some vehicles and buildings, including the palace of the ruler of Igogon town, were also burnt. This raises concerns over the level of insecurity in the state. Sunday Bowo obviously responding to this attack has visited Igogon. Together with his supporters, this was revealed by a spokesman on Facebook. In the video, Sunday Igbowo was spotted waving to people from a white Toyota he lost while his supporters were on motorbikes. Two among those on motorcycles were spotted displaying with matches. Okay, as we can see from that uh, video. Uh, most of the most importantly, I think uh, Sunday Go has been trying to uh, restrain himself just because of the way those who were supposed to have done what they needed to do, as at when they were supposed to do it, they didn't do it. When he came out, they started saying, Oh, just don't worry, let the security uh, people let them do what they have to do because they are the ones in charge. You know, when you see them talk or hear them talk, you know, you begin to feel guilty. Oh, maybe. He would have waited, you know, he wouldn't have come at the, at the time. As at the time he came out, he would have waited. Maybe it was just too forward and what have you. When you listen to all these so-called leaders. But invariably, you know that they have nothing to offer. And that is the blackmail we are talking about. Do your job. You are not going to do your job. But when people want to do your job for you, you begin to uh, begin to coast, uh, coast constitution, begin to say this and this and that. I remember... The uh, the last time he came out, when the oath you know, now blew out of a uh, a proportion, the Oni of Fife, I'm sure the uh, like I, I I read somewhere that he has spoken that he, he, he blows out really. When he was saying, oh Sunday, don't bother, just worry, don't worry, the security will but we will do this, we do that. Do you know that? Do you know a lot of incidents that have happened since then that the police could not do anything? But see what happened day before yesterday again. Now it's been happening, it's been happening like that. But see the one that happened last now, and nobody is saying anything. Everybody just kept quiet, as if nothing happened, as if it is normal. And one thing about uh, Sunday Bowie is that it will not even, you know, those videos that you are seeing, you know, that is just all what you are going to be seeing. And I remember Professor Akin uh, Akin Toye said, "Now this is not time to be politically correct. Whether the governors are going to be telling you all oh, kakambu stories, and the worst part of it is that this incident that happened, this last one that happened in Igogon." They were reliably informed. They were informed. But what happened? The same thing. The same uh, usual stories. Business as usual. They won't do anything. Now the police, from the uh, accounts of the police, they said 11 people. And other people are saying 30, 40, 50, like that. If police can tell you 11, they even try to even say 11. Because they would have just said, oh, maybe two or three or five people. Even if it's only one person, who has the right to take other people's life? And these are the people that we she come out of the same full and their and their leaders. They will come out and they will twist the story. They won't say anything now. But let anything happen, happen again in, in the in form of reprisal. You begin to hear them. They won't talk about all these things. They will not say, Oh, they are killing their people, this and that. I was just surprised that a woman came out. Some women, some group of women came out and began to tell us, say, Oh, the Igbos, oh, they are the ones killing everybody. You let them have their referendum. Which of course they are just playing to the gallery. They are playing to the gallery. So I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't really understand where we are going in this country. Tinum uh, what is Tinum Buddha wanna see the his own story is a different board game entirely. It's a different st uh, thing entirely. I could remember the day um Sunday Bobo gave a, a seven day ultimatum to this man, the Seriki Fulani of a uh, or your uh Abdukada or Sali or what is his name? Everybody was like, oh, of course, that is the normal thing. Maybe before four, three days, uh, they will call Sunday Bowl and they will just say, oh, they have settled all this and this and that. And when that thing happened, everybody was seeing Sunday Bowl was addressing people. As they say, oh, but Sunday said, yeah, you know, everybody was expecting, oh, when everything, you know, bus will start happening, you know, they will just be videoing it. No. Not knowing that as at that time, he was addressing the people. He, they had already, they had already taken care of most of the things and it was not really shown on, on, on this scene. Uh, we just heard that people started crying. The uh, what is it called? The Seriki Fulani, you know. We started hearing. He was the one that started telling the story. But 
they didn't show it you know from this video you could say oh we are forgetting that's what they do that's what they do okay let's just like i said uh sunday Bo has been trying to restrain himself so that it don't be as if oh your own is just too much this and that but all of those people that said don't worry let the police let the whatever let them do their own job they didn't they didn't say anything no. and we have been hearing series of series of series of uh, uh, attacks from that angle the farmers can no longer go to to farm so what is what is the meaning of this okay who is not funny embers of war now because once you talk like uh, the rally that took place in the Kitty State now. You we all saw what happened. They just went there to do rally to sensitize the people. They will tell you you are calling for war. Calling for war for what now? With all these problems we have on ground, it is not war. But see what Fulani has men did. It is not war. People are dying. It is not war. But when you speak, that is when you, you are calling for war. This is this is unbelievable. Very, very unbelievable. I don't I don't understand what this kind of a uh, um a thing is going to yield to them at the end of the day honestly it's 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 just unfortunate just unfortunate really unfortunate hmm. just unfortunate so i don't know i don't know where we are going in this country i can't say i don't understand you will see that uh, before because uh, it's only always going and you begin to see police you begin to see all of them running at a scatter but all this way since that day for city they've not done nothing They've done nothing. They have done nothing. They've done nothing. And they respect you. They just be law abiding. Why is it that these people are not being arrested? I remember when uh, this same incident happened in Kebi State. The governor, the only thing he had to say is that, uh, oh, this is the will of God. It's the act of Allah, this and that. And nobody's talking about how they are going to fish those people out. There are those people who have, uh, who have been affected. That, is, that means that is their own cup of tea. Of course, definitely, you know that uh, people will definitely react. Uh, someone says here that say, uh, blame the governor of your state, Mark Inde, for abandoning the people. God Almighty, guide and protect Sunday Go and other good Yoruba people. They will not wait. Who knows whom they are? They must have been well armed. And my advice to Sunday Go is to be careful. They might be looking for him. They are looking for him already, but God will continue to be with him. This is because he is fighting for the masses. Those who have mandates, what have they done? They will tell you some people do not have money to that. Who are the people that will be speaking on behalf of of a, of a, of, a, of Yoruba people? Who gave some people money to be speaking on behalf of a, the Igbos? That the people who are supposed to be speaking that the ones that have gone through election. I know it's very un, well, very unreasonable. Oh, it's some this one did not go to school. You go to school, see what they happen. And person when no go to school, see what they happen. See what they, 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 they see. Can't you see the the crowd when he went to to Ekiti? Say, oh, some people, they don't have the mandate. You don't, if you want to have the mandate, go and go and contest. The ones that are contested and they have the mandate, what are they doing? If you cannot do your job, somebody else is going to teach you. Somebody else is going to teach you. It's just unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. When people see the truth and begin to cover it. I don't know when, I, maybe until it affects them. Because you don't need, for somebody who is reasonable, who, who has, for somebody who has a, a conscience, you don't need to, Wait until something happens to you before you, you have the feelings of what people are going through. I was telling somebody yesterday, all these things happening, they are not just attacked by moonlight, or they are not just stories that they are just, you know, somebody just sits down and begins to write. These things are happening, and you do you know the everlasting sorrow that have, you know, occurred in the lives of those people, especially those who are dying. But people just feel that, oh, it's far away, it's far away, it's none of my business. Maybe even if it's happening in the, in the neighboring uh, villages, some people don't even care. They don't care because it has not gotten to them. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Let's have your take on this.